ਸਾਲ ਇਡਲੀ Hi welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana I am Zai and today we are going to make a very healthy recipe which is called as moong dal idli Normally idlis are made with parboiled rice and urad dal but today we are going to make it a bit healthier and we are going to make it with moong dal So let's quickly go through the ingredients We require 1/3 cup of moong dal which is soaked 1/3 cup of urad dal which is soaked 1 green chili 1/2 inch ginger quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder or haldi a pinch of asafoetida or hing salt as per your taste oil for greasing to begin with what we need to do is we need to soak both the dals for at least 2 to 3 hours after which we'll drain the dals firstly we'll grind the urad dal to a fine paste after that we'll drain the moong dal and we'll grind this along with green chilies and ginger to a little bit coarse paste the paste should not be very smooth after the paste is made What we need to do is we need to add turmeric powder and asafoetida to the batter. We need to mix it well and we need to ferment it for at least 3 to 4 hours. You should not ferment it for more than that otherwise it will be very sour. So let's bring that batter. I have already fermented some batter. So I'll get that batter. So here is the batter which is nicely fermented. Now I'll add some salt to the batter and mix it well. Okay so the batter is mixed well and I've already put a steamer on heat in which I have poured some water I have idli stand over here these are the idli plates with dents so what we first need to do is we need to take some oil and we need to grease them so that after steaming the idlis do not stick to the plate let's grease another plate also So we have greased both the plates. Now what we need to do is we need to take this batter and we need to pour it in the mold. Little bit more. Let's tap it so that the batter spreads evenly and keep it aside. Similarly, we pour the batter in second plate. Let's tap this also. And let's take the stand. Let's put the plate on the stand. So I have a steamer over here in which I have already put some water. So let's place this stand. We'll cover it with the lid and we'll steam this for 10 to 15 minutes. Now how you come to know whether the idlis are cooked or not? You take a toothpick or a skewer and you insert in the middle of the idlis. If the toothpick or the skewer comes out clean, that is the indication that your idlis are nicely cooked. So let's cook this for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so let's check whether the idlis are done or not. Yes, the idlis are done. They're nice and fluffy. Let's switch off the gas. And now what we need to do is we need to allow them to cool a little bit after which we will demold them and we'll serve them. Okay the idlis are now cooled slightly. We need to take some water in a bowl and we need to take a spoon. Let's take out the plates from the stand so that it's easier to remove the idlis from the mold. We'll dip this spoon in the water and we'll remove the idlis from the mold. This way it becomes easier to remove the idlis. So let's remove all the idlis. Okay so now we have removed all the idlis and I have a serving plate over here. So let's arrange them in a serving plate. Moong dal idlis are ready. Serve them hot with chutney of your choice.